So my name is L. Um, I need to put a trigger warning on this whole set first. And because we live in Arizona, I have to clarify that by trigger warning, I mean I'm actually not carrying a gun tonight. Um, I also want to respond to some rumors that you may have heard about me. Um, you can probably tell from how I walk, and especially from how I talk. So let me remove all doubt. Indeed, I am completely sober. I can't stay in the sobriety closet any longer. I don't actually drink at all. Be clear, it's not a religious thing. I'm not a recovering alcoholic. I am just a freak. Okay, anyone else drink? Not drink, rather? No. No one? 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 Oh, wow, that ruins the whole set. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. People think it's weird unless you have a reason or something. Like, I once wasted three hours trying to convince someone that they could talk to me or trust me, despite my sobriety. But they insisted I must be a cop or something. Um, looking back, I shouldn't have, I should have waited until they were buzzed to try to arrest them. Just kidding. I didn't wait. No, no, no. I've never been a cop, okay, okay. But my first job was in construction. We were building a mall on top of a Walmart. We didn't remove the garbage. We figured this way it came preloaded with inventory. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I am also transgender. Now for some of you, depending how long you've been drinking, this may be a surprise. I don't really mind, but some trans people consider it kind of rude to recognize us. So if you think you see a trans person, please do the right thing and have a few more drinks. <laughs> now, as I said, I don't dull my senses with alcohol, so I have to have other coping mechanisms. So for example, I have a coming out spreadsheet. I've got each person's name, the day it came out to them, and if they think I'm cute. Just the important things. Um, actually, I have, a few, um, I have a few entries here. Why don't we take a look at some of these? These are real things that people said to me. Um, oh, here's, some from, here's one from a family member. Um, if I would be cute, they said, well, you have to start somewhere. Um, hang on, hang on, let's find a different one. There's another one here. Um, oh, this one is from an awesome person who's close to me. It just says, I thought you wore skirts sometimes because you were comfortable in your masculinity. <coughs> no, it was exactly the opposite, actually. Forget it, wait, 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 no, no, no. This, this one's actually good. Um, it just says, ma'am, this is an EG's. Tucson is so affirming, isn't it? <laughs> Most people seem pretty cool with me being trans, but the odd person stares at me sometimes, and I get uncomfortable with prolonged eye contact. Um, but uh, a friend of mine gave me the perfect solution that I just need to get some googly eyes and put them on my chest. And then, if anyone's ever staring at me, I'm gonna snap my fingers and say, hey, eyes down here, pal. <laughs> okay, okay, one more thing. My mom is really, really funny. She's in denial about being an ally. Like, I came out to her over a year ago, and she's still coming to terms with things, which is fine. Um, but then she cross-stitched a whole pride flag for my birthday. And she forced Hobby Lobby to frame it. Like, she doesn't realize how amazingly supportive she is. She's in the ally closet. What's actually harder for her is my hair. Now, having gray hair doesn't make you old, but your youngest daughter having gray hair kind of does. All right, thank you everyone, have a good night. Woo